Have you been around a narcissistic person when you don't feel well, when you're sick, when you're injured, when you're hurt, or when you're in need in some way of support from another human being? How did that go for you? My name is Lise Colucci and I am your life coach here to help you understand and heal from toxic relationships. Why do narcissists basically abandon you when you're sick? So there's a lot of reasons that a narcissistic person might do this. One is that they want the attention. Basically, when the attention's on you, they get jealous, they get bored, they can't handle it. They need the attention back on them. Because they lack empathy, this is awful. But because of it, they can see that you don't feel well. They know that you're sick or whatever's going on for you. They understand that cognitively. But instead of feeling compassion and then acting on that by helping you, by bringing you a glass of water, by checking in with you, all the things that a caring person would do, they get annoyed. They get annoyed with the fact that they have to stop what they're doing to help you. They have to put their focus off themselves onto you, that you're stealing the attention, that you're not there to serve them while you're feeling so terrible. And that comes to my next point here is you're not available to them anymore. If you're not available to them to offer them whatever form of supply they're wanting in the moment, then you are not worth anything to them. And they get bored, they get annoyed, and they don't want to wait for you to feel better to get the attention so they start to devalue you they start to tear you down they like to basically proverbially kick you when you're down right that's what narcissistic people do when you're sick when you don't feel well or when you're injured basically they see you like a supply appliance you know like you're supposed to be there to just feed and fill their attention and supply need and just like if your dishwasher or your refrigerator were broken you might feel really annoyed and grumpy and frustrated, that's how they feel when the supply appliance, which is you, no longer is there in working condition. It's sort of a form of devaluing, like to see you when you're not at your best, to see you when you are feeling bad and your energy's low or you're hurting or something like that where you are not serving and giving and offering to that narcissistic person. It's sort of like it, they, instead of shifting into compassion, they shift into devalue because they see you as worthless, as useless, as not there for them, as not there to do what they need you to do. And at the same time, you're basically stealing from the attention that they feel they deserve in their life coming both from you and from others. So if anyone is helping you, if anyone is supporting you, if anyone's even saying, wow, I'm sorry you don't feel well, that's taking the attention they feel they deserve, let alone the attention that they feel they deserve from you that you're unable to give. And then another thing that a narcissistic person will do that we'll just mention real quick here is they often feel like you're faking it or like you're making more out of it than it is or like, yeah, so what? Suck it up, right? They don't have the empathy that it takes to have any way of relating to you in a compassionate way when you don't feel well, again, just an annoyance to them. And if they think you're doing it on purpose to get attention or you're exaggerating, like say you feel really terrible and they're like, yeah, you just have a sniffle. You're exaggerating. Uh-huh. Well, it's not as sick as I was last time or whatever it is they say. Then they're annoyed that you're trying to take the attention, take their attention, when they should be placing their attention on something far better themselves, right? So that is some of the reasons a narcissistic person treats you terribly when you don't feel well. Have you experienced this? Let me know in the comments. And you guys, check out more videos for more information on healing from and understanding narcissistic people. I'll talk to you guys next time.